and they end up with death and divorce and destruction, the whole nine yards. So it talks about the congregation, talks about the synagogue of Satan. Here we have the assembly of blasphemers down here at the University of Illinois or whatever you want to do. And then it has here the uh, UN. It talks to the kings of the earth. Kings of the earth are gathered together against the Lord and against Israel. Everybody goes to church. Here you have communism. Everybody goes to church. You're either going to one of these or you're going to one of these. And this is what it's talking about here. This is the church of death. Cut that light off right there, please. So when you check those out, you says, uh oh, Mount Sinai, bad spirit, river of death, the church of death. They're trying to get to heaven by works. You can't get to heaven by works. I'm glad the Holy Spirit, the real spirit spoke to my heart, not about joining some religious club but about getting saved and accepting Christ as my personal Savior. See, there's, there's only, listen, listen, there are only two religions in the world. There are not a hundred religions. There are not fifty. There are just two. Salvation by works. Salvation by grace through faith. There are just two groups. You either have accepted Christ as your personal Savior and have been born again, or you're working. Man, I'm working, doing this, doing that, doing. That. You're, you're, I'm not doing. I'm not. I, I, listen, I didn't go to Africa so I'd go to heaven. I'm going. To, I went to Africa so they wouldn't go to hell. Okay, not for anything to help me. Trying to help them. That's the difference. See, there's some people going to Africa uh, uh, because they're trying to work their way to heaven. That's not good enough. The Bible tells us there are two. Now they look the same when you got the thing, but when you change the light, you can see there are two different mountains. There are two different spirits. There are two different churches. There are two different rivers. There are two different bridges. You're standing here in the middle. Now you can go that way, but that won't get you anything. You'll never find any joy. You'll never find any peace. You'll never find any lasting hope. But when you accept Christ, your personal Savior. I'm glad at the age of 19, buddy. I said, you know what? I'm not going to just, I'm not going that way. As a matter of fact, I had one group, the Church of Christ, offered to pay me $30,000 to pay my way to college and everything else. And I said, when is, uh, when is, you know, what time does prayer meeting start on Wednesday? We don't have prayer meeting on Wednesday. Uh, what time does uh, your Sunday night service? Uh, they said, we don't, we don't have a Sunday night service. At the age of 19, I said, I'm going to accept, I'm going to put my faith in what Jesus did on the cross. And now I know that I'm going to heaven. Nine years ago, the doctor told me that I had advanced prostate cancer, that I was going to die, there was nothing he could do. But you know what? I'm telling you, folks, I'm telling you, when the doctor told me you're going to die, I had peace in my heart. I said, well, and let me tell you something. Let me, tell you, let me just share this with you. Do you know that for a Christian, death is the last great adventure? You got that? Did you hear what I said? Death, for the person who is generally born again, death is the last great adventure because now I'm going to see the new Jerusalem. Now I'm going to see heaven. Amen? Amen. But if you haven't accepted Christ your personal Savior, the Bible says not only are you going to end up in a dead end street here, but the Bible says that they'll be bound hand and foot, they'll be cast into the outer darkness. And they found out there really is a place called the other. Not only do you just end in a dead end street with a bunch of a dead church and a river of death and a dead by works, but the Bible says in the end, you end up in a lake of fire. The Bible says, He that hath the Son hath light, and he that hath not the Son of God shall not see light, but the wrath of God abides on that person. The Bible tells us there in Revelation chapter 21, it says, All liars, all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever told a lie? You say, well, yeah, 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 some things weren't true. Okay, the Bible says, All liars shall have their, lake, their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. But you know what? Nobody has to go to the lake of fire. The Bible tells us that God offers you the gift of eternal life. Suppose I was going to give you this fluorescent chalk here. Glows in the dark. And I said, you know what? I want to give you this chalk. And I put it in the Bible there. I said, here, you can have it. He said, yeah, but it's in the, it's in the Bible there. i got to take the Bible to get the chalk. That's right. God offers you the gift of eternal life. Where is it? The wages of sin is death. Not physically, 
the second death, the lake of fire, but the gift of God is eternal life. Now listen, the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus our Lord. When I accept Jesus, I get eternal life. So the question is, which way do you want to go? Everybody, everybody's standing right here in the middle. You're standing right there. Sometime, either in the past or in the present, you're standing right there. You have to either go that way, take religion, feel good, die and go to the lake of fire, or you can put your faith in what Jesus did on the cross and know for sure you're going to go to heaven. Let's pray. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Father, thank thee now for your goodness. We thank thee for this opportunity to open the Bible. Lord, we pray now that you will help us realize there's only one, there are only two religions, salvation by works and salvation by grace through faith. And now with every head bowed, every eye closed, would you turn on that one center right in the middle, please? With every head bowed, every eye closed, let me ask you a question. How many folks here tonight say, Preacher, well, uh, some time ago in the past, and I stood at that crossroad between those two bridges, and I said, that's not the right way. That's not the right spirit. That's not the right mountain. I want to go to Mount Calvary. I want to go to Jesus. He can get me to heaven. With every head bowed, every eye closed, how many folks here tonight say, Preacher, I have come to Jesus. I've been born again. Would you raise your hand? I know for sure I'm going to heaven. Okay, thank you. With every head bowed, every eye closed, there's someone here tonight say, uh, you know, uh, man, that's so much stuff you covered there tonight and all that stuff on the chart. Man, I, I don't know what's going on. Man, I thought I knew I thought I knew something, but I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. How many people here tonight would say, you know what? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm a good person. I haven't robbed any banks, but boy, the Bible says all liars are going to go to the lake of fire, and I have said things that were not true. And I sure want to make sure I'm going to heaven. How many visitors do we have here tonight? Say, Preacher, I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. Please pray for me. I want to make sure I'm going to heaven. Did you raise your hand? Anybody here tonight? Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Say, please pray for me. Say, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, with every head bowed, every eye closed, right where you're sitting, I want you to pray with me in the quietness of your heart. I want you to pray with me. All right, would you pray with me? Dear Lord Jesus, Forgive me for my sins. I accept you as my personal Savior. With every head bowed, every eye, right where you're sitting, in the quietness of your heart, I want you to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to go to heaven. Forgive me for my sins. I accept you as my personal Savior. With every head bowed, every eye closed. If you prayed that prayer just now and you asked Jesus to save you, would you raise your hand? Say, right where I'm sitting, I'd say, thank you. Say, I prayed. And I asked Jesus, thank you. Very good. Amen. Thank you. Very good. That's very good. That's the most important decision you'll ever make. Still with every head bowed, every eye closed. How many Christians do you have here? Say, so really, hey, this, this week, in these next couple of days, I'm going to try to get some folks here. And uh, I'm going to try to get them here for the, the Harvest Festival thing, especially for Saturday and Sunday. Pray for me as a Christian. I'm going to try to get some folks here. Uh, pray for me. I want to do something before it's too late. Okay, thank you. I'll uh, thank you now for your goodness. We thank you for this opportunity to see what the Bible has to say. Pray that you'll uh, bless the invitation. Pastor comes now. We'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to sing.